Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hey, hello, my name is Meg and we generally do crafty things here. So if you like crafty things, please do consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for subscribing and tuning into another video, of course. All right, guys, back by popular demand is cleaning out my to-dos part two. If you didn't see part one, that's okay. I'll explain it all here and now. As you can see, my name is Margaron on Bracelet Book. I am a moderator there, and I've been on Bracelet Book for over eight years now. Basically what this means is that I have accumulated far more to-dos than I will be able to ever to done. So, when we take a look here, if we scrolly scroll down my profile, I have 1145 to do's at the moment now you may be saying my returning subscribers or individuals who watched the first video you may be saying but Megan we ended off the last video at 1200 so you are doing well and I would counter with this is the third time I've tried to uh, do this video so I've deleted a number of to do's already so I'm a little bit frustrated <laughs> because it just seems to be technical difficulty after technical difficulty. But we're gonna jump in again and try to film this one more time. So I think this is where we're gonna jump in this time on page 33. So let's start at the bottom and work our way up, shall we? There's nothing wrong with this. It's a double arrowhead. I really love the colors picked here actually. So wicked. And you know what? Bracelet confession here. I've never made an arrowhead pattern. So there's that. Um, this is kind of like those Aztec bracelets, like in the last video I was talking about how a few years ago they were really, really popular. And this is kind of that same aesthetic. Now, this one is a little bit different in the fact that it has a border on it, which would make it easier, but I just don't personally see myself making this anymore. Um, it would be kind of cute for like scrap thread though maybe because this isn't very wide and these details are quite small so you could do it with scrap thread maybe I'll leave that one I was gonna get rid of it but now that I've thought about that I might actually leave that let's see this I don't know how I feel about this has anyone a few people have made it it's very bright and very fun, but I don't think, I just think there's things that have a bit more of a like actual design or image to them that I'd be more inclined to make. And with like over 1100 to do's, we gotta, we gotta shorten the stack here. What is this? Like I know I've jumped ahead a couple patterns here, but I don't think I would ever make this. I don't even remember putting this in here. This seems, this doesn't seem like something I would have put in here. Maybe it was added by accident or maybe I did put it in there and I just don't remember. Um, but I think I'm going to remove it. I've seen a bunch of people make this and it actually looks really good. So I'm definitely going to leave this one here, but I want to creep the pictures. Like look, all the fun color combinations you can do with this. It looks so good. Um, this looks like it's a shaped bracelet. Interesting. No one has actually done it as a shaped bracelet. Everyone has done it as carrying strings. And my knee-jerk reaction would have been to do that um, as a shaped bracelet. So that's kind of interesting. But um, I don't think I'm going to make it myself. This is really cool. Side note. Uh, this isn't in my to-dos, but this is really cool, so. You didn't see that. That's so cool. Oh, that's like a brand, brand new pattern. That's why it's not in my to-dos yet. Actually, a few of you guys have asked me about my, like, fancy shaped bracelet and if I can do a tutorial on that. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. I know like one or two people have asked, but I'm just not sure 
if people are actually, if there's a lot of people interested in it or not. But if you are, well, let me know in the comments. Um, this is pretty cool. I like this like tribal mask. <gasps> oh, it looks good too. That's really nice. screwdriver now once upon a time I was a really really big Doctor Who fan and if you are familiar with Doctor Who <clears throat> basically the main character or Doctor Who can regenerate and so every few seasons the actor for the main character changes and with it kind of their personality and their interpret the actors interpretation of the character their catchphrases that sort of thing changes as well and the Doctor Who has a companion that travels, that time travels and stuff, saves the world with him. And the companion also changes every few seasons. Um, I stopped watching when Kara, I think her name was Kara, became the companion. I wasn't a huge fan of her. And generally I would just stick it out, but mid Kara's stint as the companion, was also when the doctor regenerated. And in that shift time, generally for the first few episodes, at least after the regeneration and the actor switches, it takes some time to kind of warm up to the new character because it's a completely different character than you were used to. And as a result, I wasn't really feeling Peter Capaldi and I was already really irritated by Kara, so I stopped watching because I just don't watch a lot of TV. And when I do watch TV, if something didn't really 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 seriously grab my attention and the last time I watched it I was really hooked on it then I generally don't go back to watching it so for this reason I haven't watched Doctor Who in years I'm going to remove this because I don't really feel like I'm a huge Doctor Who fan anymore and again this was probably in the height of my Doctor Who phase this is a Doctor Who quote Again, I'm probably going to remove it, also because it's just basically simple text. Yes, once upon a time, Race of Book did accept simple text bracelets, so um, that makes people frustrated sometimes because they see simple pattern or simple word bracelets on Race of Book, and they, we just stopped it because the font generator became a thing, and it became so easy to generate a word bracelet that it's not really value I don't want to say valuable I hate I honestly don't particularly like that that's in like our options but it's hard to think of another word for it because honestly the amount of simple word patterns that come in would flood the pattern page and you wouldn't be able to find anything but a bunch of random names for a very long time. <laughs> so I understand why it's not there, but I also understand why people get frustrated by it. Again, this is simple text. I'm just going to remove it. It is kind of the logo, but again, I'm not really watching that show anymore. Always. I am a Harry Potter fan. <laughs> Always. And this is actually a decent size. I would consider making this. I know the last one, we deleted one that was very similar to this because it was so big and I had said, when it comes to text bracelets like that, I don't want it to be like 30 strings wide because I really don't think you need that many strings to communicate the message. No pun intended, as it's literally a word bracelet. But it seems like a waste of string to me. So this one is much smaller. I feel like I would still consider making this. Slytherin, I am in Slytherin house, so we'll be keeping this and this. These little skull boys. So for me, I think I'm going to remove this, but it is a cute pattern. And also like disclaimer, I'm not saying any of these patterns aren't good. They are just no longer to my taste or they're just simply something that I have numerous similar patterns to it. And like I've got way too many to do's to keep all of these. That actually looks really nice. 
don't feel like I would make this pattern. I think I've got one of these ones in my to-dos and I'd be more apt to make it over this one, I think. So for that reason, I think I'm going to remove this one as well. Um, I'm going to remove this. I feel like I'd be more apt to make this as a normal pattern as opposed to a alpha pattern. This is a cat from Aristocats. I never really watched the Aristocats. Like I've seen that a couple times, but it's not like one of my favorites or anything, which leads me to believe that this was probably put in here for a craft swap. I used to do craft swaps on a completely different website and there'd be like themes so you could do like sign up for like a Disney themed craft swap and people would make things and swap based on like your partner's likes and stuff. So I feel like at one point probably had someone or a friend or someone who really liked the Aristocats. I don't particularly have any nostalgia or anything attached to Aristocats. I don't think I would make that on my own. This. I like this. This is quite a big pattern. As soon as I saw this, it made me laugh because it's like, oh, it's a scroll. It looks so professional and it's just like, can you not? I love it. It's sassy like me. <laughs> has anyone nodded this? Oh, yes. Yes, someone has. Love it. The TARDIS. I'll keep one Doctor Who pattern in here. And I do like this. It is a little more detailed. So I feel like this is a good one to keep. This is pretty cool. This um, Jack Skellington normal pattern. It's quite big, but I do really like it. A little bit concerning, a comment seemed to be that um, it's difficult to switch from the bottom of the pattern to the next section, but it doesn't look like it'd be too, too difficult to figure out. So I'm gonna leave it there because I still think it's cool. This is neat but I probably won't make it. I'm not really huge into the animal print. I really can't talk today. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. The animal print is just not really my thing anymore. At one point it was kind of something I thought looked cool, but I'm not really into it anymore. So we've seen a few that have like animal print accents and stuff. Um, I'm kind of inclined to just get rid of them at this point because I'm just, like I said, not really into them. This is, okay, I think we have another pattern in my to-dos, or two or three like it. This is kind of cute and it would look like a frilly bow when you tie it. Has anyone knotted this? No. Oh, I wanna see these things, guys. This is supposed to be like a woven ribbon. It's kind of a cool effect there actually with the gradient makes it really look like it is weaving through. Would have been cool to see the purple do this. Maybe I'll keep this and I'll do the purple in like the same sort of manner as the blue and it would be opposite and I think that would look really cool. I'm gonna leave this one. I was going to delete it. I clicked on that fully with the intention of deleting it. But upon looking at it closer, I changed my mind. This looks cool, but again, it's an alpha chevron. This has random squares in it that aren't the same size but only in the purple and like two rows of the pink. This looks like perhaps some tiles were missed. I think I'm going to remove this because I think if I started knotting it, that would drive me a little bit nutty. <laughs> so I'm going to remove this one, I think. I blink, I think. Um, 
glasses and the lightning bolt. You know we're going to keep that. I don't... This looks cool, but I've never really drank Jägermeister. Oh, look. Five years, eight months ago, I commented. It's the Jägermeister logo. Nice. Classy, Megan. Classy. <laughs> Such input. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to make this. And I don't see myself ever stitching it. I'm not really... I don't drink a lot, and when I do, I definitely don't drink Jägermeister. So I think I'm going to remove it. This is another one of those. This is kind of like that little goth... There's like a little goth girl pattern that's in my to-dos. This is kind of similar to it, but it's supposed to be like Ariel. And this is really cute. But again, I just... I don't see myself making it, but it's so cute I want to. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it for now. I'll let it marinate. Maybe I'll come back to it. What does this look like? One to one patterns aren't my favorite because I feel like the purpose of a one to one pattern is to try and be an alpha if you don't really know how to tie alphas. Like, Maybe that sounds bad, like I'm trying to take shots, like the only reason you make a one-to-one -one verse is because you don't know how to make an alpha. But I feel like there's... As someone who is good at both normal and alpha patterns, I don't really feel like there's a reason for me to make a one-to-one -one pattern when I feel like the outcome of an alpha of the same thing is going to look better. In my opinion. I am good at alphas, so someone who's maybe better at normal patterns, this would definitely be maybe up your alley if you want like this sort of pattern um, and images and stuff. So that's by no means a shot at one-to-one -one patterns. Um, they're just not really my thing. I'd rather, like I said, make the alpha. I find it generally translates a little bit better, like picture to product. So I think I'm going to remove this one. Next, see, I told you guys I had that pattern in here. I knew it. Metallica. If you know, you know. This is kind of cute. It would look kind of fun on a bracelet or even as like a little wall hanging with little lights. This, I don't think, when you get to these really tiny, like pixely sort of images, I don't think they translate super well to a bracelet, so for that reason I'm going to remove this. Sorry guys, we're back. It's later. Yes, change of clothes and I don't know what my hair is doing either, but here we are anyways. Going back at it because uh, you guys, a lot of you guys last time said you wanted to see a longer video of this, so let's continue. And are we working our way up or down? Okay, well, let's look. I feel like this is an attempt at that Aztec style that was popular a few years ago, but it isn't quite hitting it right for me. So I think I'm going to remove this one. And again, this looks very much like it should be a normal pattern to me, not an alpha. So I think I'm going to remove this as well. I don't think we looked at that, but this is actually really cute. Has anyone knotted this? Does it turn out looking as cute as the pattern looks? Oh, it actually turns out like okay. Okay, I'll leave this one because I think the little feather's cute. Um, this is kind of Fair Isle sweater esque, so I think I'm going to remove it. I'm so sorry, it's like 1.30 in the morning, but I really, really want to get this up and. As I said before, this is my third time filming it, so. And this little bat, again, it's a one-to-one -one pattern, so I'm 
feel like I'm not super inclined to make it unless it's something like I really don't know what my hair is doing really um what was I saying one to one pattern probably not gonna make it unless it's something really spectacular and this just isn't really hitting spectacular for me so I'm going to remove it and I think I think we are on to the next page friends let's go down yes I think we caught a glance of this in the previews I was talking about it earlier um, with a sugar skull set I said um, I think this is one of them it's in this one there's a few of them that are very similar. These are kind of cute, little pinup style. I don't think I've seen these before. Oh, but it's cute. Oh, someone nodded this. Oh, but it's so cute. And they got a little scope. Oh. But I want to make it. Okay, this was. Oh, I shouldn't have clicked that other one. It was counterproductive. What did the other little one look like? Oh, see, look, this looks so good. Okay, sorry. Mm, I like this one best, I think, with the victory rolls. You know, yeah. Okay. Focus, focus. Removing to do's, not adding to do's. Removing to do's, removing to do's. Okay. Um, this horsey would have been added in there I think for a swap because I've never particularly been into horses I think that's probably why it's there I'm going to remove it because like I said I'm not particularly into horses myself so Look at this little stitch. We're keeping him. He's so cute. This is kind of funky and just like pretty basic, honestly. Oh, look. Is this bead loom? Look at that. It looks so cool. I'm going to keep this one. It's also. 11 strings that'll be perfect for just I don't know like a funky center to it I don't know I like it I'm gonna keep it <laughs> vibes like the colors remind me of like I don't know A and W or the like 70s or something <laughs> the two definitely go hand in hand um it's kind of cute it would make a nice little bookmark or something so I think I'm going to leave that and that's pretty too I'm gonna leave that this is funky this says it's for like Avatar the Last Airbender never watched it but it looks really cool <laughs> so I think I'm going to leave it like the swirls and stuff look really funky just change the colors up and stuff you know and again this is Avatar the last airbender um, it's like clouds swirly clouds I feel like I am honestly I feel like I'm less like to less like oh my gosh less likely to make this one than the last one. So I think I'm going to remove this one. Little piece on. Um, for how big it is, I'm probably not gonna make it. This is a cute little like, chibi little Snow White. I might keep this, cause I feel like it could be cute and something. This is kind of neat. I did it like shaped. I feel like this could be added in as like a decoration on a bracelet or something or you could I feel like fairly easily make a couple more characters to like go with it but I'm gonna leave this one like Snow White isn't even like my favorite Disney movie or anything but I think I'm gonna leave it this would look like really pretty cross-stitched or embroidered 
Ah, oh, someone's nodded it. Oh, someone has nodded it. Let's look. Oh, oh, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. We're keeping it. We're keeping it in there, guys. Oh, well knotted. I think this was her looking for Alaska. Yeah, there was a John Green cover that had this like daisy on it. I love that book, by the way, Looking for Alaska. I thought it was a really good book. My copy though, doesn't look like that. My copy looks like this. So um, it is really cute. Maybe I'll keep it. It's very like summery at the same time. I was drizzle, she was a hurricane. Ugh, I need to reread that book, really. It was, honestly, it's my favorite John Green book. And to be honest, I'm getting rid of all my other John Green books, except for Looking for Alaska and Will Grayson, Will Grayson, because I haven't read it yet, but I bought it. Um, I think I'm gonna remove this. I, it's really cool. I just don't think I'm ever actually going to knot it. It's kind of a tribally looking hummingbird. It's very pretty, but I don't see myself ever making it. Um, this like neon skull thing. I don't think I'm gonna make this. Has anyone knotted it? One person has. Very well knotted, but there's lots of skull patterns already in my to-dos that I really like and I think um, I'd gravitate towards first. Um, I love this pattern. This says it's from a game. I've never played the game, but I just like like the scenery of this. Um, this is pretty, it's pretty. Uh, someone, look, someone made a little cross stitch cushion. Oh guys, I could crochet a little rose cushion. Uh, this I'm probably gonna get rid of. I don't see myself making this. Has anyone else made it? No. It looks really cool and I like the concept, but, or it would kind of make a cool little wall hanging for like Halloween decorations though. But also like, when do I have this much black and white on hand at once? <laughs> When I first get my string, and if I did this pattern, I wouldn't anymore. Maybe I'll leave it there anyways. It's kind of cool. This, though, I think I'm going to get rid of. This is, again, a Doctor Who pattern. Oh, this is the hummingbird from Pocahontas. When I was little, Pocahontas was my favorite Disney movie. You think you own whatever land you land on. And have you ever heard the wolf cry to the blue corn? I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Someone needs to physically stop me. That's gonna be stuck in my head for so long now. And I have already made a sunset pattern on my channel in a speed knot. I will put it in the Cardi things. Um, I feel like I'm not really inclined to make this one. After doing the last one, this seems like almost too easy. Um, the little Iron Man. They're cute though. Will I ever make it? I don't know, but they make a cute little ensemble, so I'm going to leave them. This feather is pretty. I've made a feather bracelet already. Um, and I feel like I have some other ones in here. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't really see myself making another feather bracelet anytime soon. Jurassic Park. I feel like you could do some cool stuff with this. I'm gonna keep this. I feel like you could cross stitch it, obviously. You could knot it and make it like a little wall hanging you could crochet it and make it like a fun cushion. I feel like there's a lot of things that can be done with this. So I think I'm gonna keep this for now. I may change my mind later on that, but I think I'm gonna keep it for now. And I think that was my original intention with it was to do like a cushion or something with it, like crochet a cushion. So yeah. Um, 
this looks like a Thunderbird. Someone's made it. That looks pretty cool. Maybe I'll leave this. I think we're gonna leave that. Cute little sea turtle. That's a nice basic alpha. I think I'm gonna leave that. Pocahontas. I think I'm gonna leave that because as I said, Pocahontas was and honestly still is one of my favorite Disney movies. Mario! Um, I don't think I'm going to make Mario, to be honest. What is happening here? Interesting. This individual is doing this kind of, I don't know if it's intentional or not, but with like a flip-flop technique where they're doing one row right side up and then one row was like the upside down technique. And then one row normal. And I don't know if that's intentional or like they like the effect of it or if they just don't realize that they're doing it. No, all their patterns are like that. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's kind of a cool effect. Um, so far as Mario goes though, I think I'm going to get rid of this pattern because I think, I feel like I have something like this in my to-dos and he looks a little more, um, a little more like what I would probably want in a bracelet when I think of Mario, even though this is more like the OG, OG Mario. This looks really pretty. Has anyone made this? Oh. This one was done with beads. Look at that. Beautiful. And this one's knotted. Oh. Well knotted, well beaded. Very, very pretty. Um, here we go. Another little princess character thing. I'm probably not going to make these ones. Um. This is like a, what, double bordered chevron? Oh, that's kind of cool. What did they do here? Oh, that's neat. They looped their strings on the edges to make it like a, almost like a fringe, but they didn't cut the loops. I might have to try that on something. I like it. This is pineapple. I don't even know why this is in here. I, I think this is one of those things where I was just like, oh, it's cute. Add. Um, he is really cute with all his little hearts. I don't know that I would ever make him though. This, but no, maybe I'm gonna leave it because he'd be a cute little wall hanging or something. He's cute. Um, that's pretty. I don't think I would make this anymore. The Harry Potter pushing cat. Oh, oh it's so chubby. Uh, okay. And all, like, be really serious with yourself now, Megan. Would you make this? I don't think I would make this. So let's look and see where we're at with our to-dos. 1,088. Uh, okay, let's get rid of eight more patterns and make it an even 1,080. I think I've gotten rid of eight now. Let's see. What are we at? Oh, eight on the dot. I wasn't even counting. I lost count. Amazing. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I think we're going to leave it here. Um, I'm getting tired of looking at patterns, to be honest. 
I'm starting to get bored. So if I'm starting to get bored, I can expect that you guys are probably also in the same boat. So I think we're going to leave this here, call it a day. If you guys enjoyed this and you found some good patterns, please give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, I will see you all then.